Hi everyone, this is Milton again. In this video, we will learn about the, the Empala tree census map and how to edit the data for the available trees. The first thing that you will notice once you log in is that the plot has been divided in some useful grid. The red big uh, polygon represents the entire Empala plot. And the red dot represents the trees that will be participating in this census. By the way, the color of the trees indicates the status of the census, that it will change when you start working with the census. The red dot means that the tree is not started. The yellow dot means that the tree is in progress. For example, if you are not sure about the data that you are collecting, you can set the progress of the tree to yellow to indicate that you must return to that particular tree to finish it. And the last one is the green color, which means that the tree is finished, that you are done with that particular tree. If you zoom in closer, you will see that there is another grid. That grid, it's the color blue grid, which represents the 20 by 20 meters grid. Within that grid, you will see that there is another one that is of the color cyan. That grid represents the five by five grid, five by five meters. And if you zoom in closer, you not only see the grid of five by five, but the one by one grid represented by the yellow dotted lines. So in the field, it will be very easy for you to geolocate yourself within the area because there is one by one grid. You have each of the trees showing a label. The label contains the tag number of the tree, the species for that tree, and the last year's census DBH number. So let's say that I want to edit this tree that is on the left bottom corner. If I click that particular tree, I can access all the attribute data for that tree. If, if I want to edit this information, I can use this pencil here. I will click on that pencil and the record right now, it's in editing mode, meaning that I can change the tree. Let's suppose that the tree, it's not located on the right position, that the tree is located in the wrong position. I can move the crosshair to a different position. Let's say I want to move it to the P523 here. And then I can click on update point. Now the tree is located in the new position. I can even, even move the point further north. Let's say, I will change the P5 and the Q20. Look at these two numbers, how those numbers change depending on the location of the tree. I will click on update point and pay attention to, to these two numbers here. The two numbers are updated depending on how I am relocating the tree. This is the species name. I can select a new species name. Let's say I... I will change the species name to this new species. I just write down part of the species name and I can then select from here the species for that particular tree. And then I can go to the tree codes. And as you can see, the tree codes are switches. If this tree is irregular stem, I can put the switch on and that will be the code for that tree. I can say that the tree is Q stem broken about the DKH, then I will switch on that. As you can see here, the code, it's building this, this string with all the switches. The same with the tree problems. I can select 
any of these three problems and the three problems will be written written in a string let's go let, let's move to the tree measurement this is the dbh all 35 and i can write down a new dbh as you can see the dbh has a valid range from zero to a thousand if you write down a value that is outside the range let's say 1200 you see that the value is in red meaning that i can enter that number i can change that and enter a valid range. The same with the home. The range goes from 0 0.5 to 2. If I select 0 0.1, you see that the value is not valid. So I have to write down a valid number. And then the note, if you have note to write down, and the census status. The census status is a very important field because it's, it's the way that we can handle for all the trees to get censuses. And that is the census status field. If you put in progress, you see that the point changed to green to yellow. If I put finish, the green, the, the dot, it's has changed to green, meaning that that tree is finished. Once I am done with all the updates, I can click on this check mark here, which basically submits my changes back to the database. And that's how I update the information for all the trees on Filmaps.